covers it up, but because she didn't strike in that seven count, she now trails by 21 pins, so the lead can change very quickly when we're working on a continual strike type of bases. Leanne Barrett now stepping up in the seventh frame. She'll need to get some strikes going. Very important, though. Carolyn has four strikes, Leanne has three, but if you don't make your spares, you're practically out of the match. Have to make your spares. The strikes will come. Eighteen and six, as we mentioned in match play, but she needs one more win to win tonight. Excellent shot. Well, Carolyn Doran Ballard told us last night that it was Shamrock Day because she felt so lucky to actually be in this match tonight for the television finals and she's had a few good breaks along the way maybe uh, that shamrock day is continuing i don't know jane you think 14 out of 16 shows <laughs> she has a pretty big shamrock <laughs> i'm gonna have to start picking her pockets before we bowl <laughs> Hit it. Oh my God! <laughs> now, Shamrock, you see? Definitely. Horseshoe Shamrock, four leaf clover, blue dot, whatever. Blue dot. <laughs> Terrible shot off her hand, and she knew it. Almost right down the middle, and the the six ten just gets blown off the deck, and she can't believe it. Carolyn's held her head more tonight than <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen her hold her head. Pretty much in astonishment every time, but you take what you get. Trust me, she has had a lot of bad breaks also throughout these 14 shows in her career. You don't win five titles in one year and make 14 shows out of 16 without getting a few breaks. Yes! <laughs> Follows it up with a... Pretty good shot, tripping the four pin, but stayed in the pocket. So Leanne Barrett still trailing by 21 as she steps up in the eighth. Really needs to strike here. This is her first time as top seed this year. In fact, her first time qualifying higher than third, fourth, or fifth. She got her wish. She got out of that first match. She got out of the second match, too. Now that's just flat out not right to that watch your opponent get a big break and then have that happen. Absolutely. That was a fabulous shot off her hand. She obviously made the adjustment on the right lane because she's come up high twice. Look at how hard her ball hits the pins, almost leaving the 7-9. But the 9 getting tripped and only leaving the 7. She shouldn't have left any. Uh-oh. Now that looked like maybe that ball fell off her hand. It did. She something. didn't look comfortable at all. No, something happened that was not normal. That wasn't a miss. That was no. just a disaster. Yeah. Looks like she double dribbled it a little bit there at the foul line, but you saw her blowing in her thumb hole before, too. So her hands might be a little cold. Yeah, that fell right off her hand. That was not a, a mistake. You could see her struggling to hang on to it, so disaster. What should have been a strike, clearly should have been a strike, becomes an open frame for Leanne Barrett. Carolyn Dorn Ballard getting a bit of refreshment there. And Leanne Barrett, though, top seed. What a great seat, uh, swing she's having. Actually, her third show in a row, definitely taking advantage of opportunities. She loves her equipment. She's happy with her timing and her physical game. She says all her adjustments are easy to make. That's when you know you are on top of your game, when your adjustments are easy. Carolyn up in the ninth frame. Now she has a commanding lead here, 53 pins, but she still wants to take her time and make a quality shot. Well, that's definitely much better. Tonight, coming up light. She obviously made the adjustment, though, on lane 18. 
leaving the 245. Well, the best Leanne Barrett can shoot right now would be 204. Carolyn Doran Ballard just needing to get a couple of these pins here. And, well, actually needing to get a few pins each frame or spare here. Still needs to throw the ball. If you're enjoying this show, be sure to join us next Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern as we bring you the championship round finals of the North Myrtle Beach Classic. Last year, Tish Johnson wowed the crowds at the North Myrtle Beach Bowling Center, winning her 23rd title. Can she repeat? Find out Monday at 8 on ESPN2 the home of PWBA. There's a look at the scoreboard. Carolyn Doran Ballard really just needs one pin here on this shot. Stay behind the foul line, keep the ball on the lane. That was a terrific shot for only needing one pin. That's when it's easiest to make the shot. See her touching the flag? That's your father's that flag my, pin. Yes, it and was. She touched it after she threw that shot. That was, this is for you, Dad. Tears coming to her eyes. This is her sixth title that ties Lisa Wagner for the PWBA record, but the professional record is seven for the most titles in a season. That was Patty Costello, so she has one more to go. But again, it's title number six for the year for Carolyn Doran Ballard. We're coming back with more, so don't go away. <laughs>